It has everything. Bumping and banging. <laughs> Big boy. Big boy. All righty, man. <laughs> we ran out of, we found this mother cat. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. We got little Dicky up in yeah, here, man. Baby. Welcome, my brother. Thank you for having me. Go ahead now, man. Um, he probably thinking now, like, oh, everybody want me now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, it's been an you know, overnight success, long ass night. Yeah. Welcome, mm -hmm. my brother. Pleasure Thank to you. see you. Thank you for having me. Man, let me tell you, um, just what what does this this movement feel like now? Just the attention. You know what I'm saying? Because you get in, you grind. Every, now people either were with you from the giddy up. Yeah. Or now we got to go back and search right. and get some of that history for the last, you know, couple few years. Yeah. What does this feel like, the momentum mm -hmm. now? I think it's pretty validating. It's, like, yeah. satisfying. You know, I've been working really hard for, like, the past, I'd say, like, four years. Mm -hmm. And I've only had stuff online for two years. So I'm not the type of person who's, like, oh, I'm being slept on. Right, 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 right. <laughs> like, yeah. it's been Wake like, up! Yeah, it's been, like, as, you know, borderline as fast as it could be. To me, though, it's just, like, I've always you know, believed and hoped that everybody would be into it. And mm -hmm. now it's kind of finally feeling like you are, were certainly right. But you know what, man? It's not like a, a, a mockery. Like, you no. you're deadly with your pen, yeah, though. That, that, you that, was my only, that was my fear, because, like, you know, it's obviously a lot of the stuff's funny, and the right. last thing I want people to think is that I'm mocking anything. I'm right, really right, not. making I, fun of no. like it's it, But you hanging, bro. Right, yeah. exactly. You know what I'm saying? And when you look at it, you're like, man, like, that's why when I just saw you in the hallway, I was just like, man, amazing. Thank you. <laughs> you know what <laughs> I'm saying? And, and then it's certain things, little diggy, that you're like, man, I could have done that. Yep. You could have. You know, but I didn't. Yeah. I just want you to know, mm -hmm. like, I listen to the radio. Mm -hmm. You're probably the funniest radio person I am. Now. Like, I'd sit in the car, <laughs> and I think this guy is so funny. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? I'm not capitalizing off of well, most of this. Maybe. You know, and it's crazy because we were just talking about this, you know, because I was going, I, I saw the video, and I was like, yeah. man, well, we need to do Big Dicky, you know, because I'm, mm. you know, I'm black oh, and I'm well wow. endowed. I like that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure this, this is all original that I'm telling you right here. <laughs> Little Dicky, yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure no one ever said Big Dicky yeah. to you before, you know. But I was going to do a video where I was going to go to people. Maybe I shouldn't even explain this because I still want to do it. Someone did yeah. Because mine would just be, you know, knocking on the door and people like, hey, get the hell away from me. Right. But yeah. you got a lot of those where people was like, kind of like, no, it's not it's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah. And we, you know, we didn't even show like all of them, but Damn. most of the time it was certainly, of course not. Nah. Right, right, yeah. right, right. Now, how, how bold do you get? To go knock on someone's door <laughs> and say, "Can I use your house for fifteen minutes to shoot a rap video?" Well, you got to be fairly bold. It's not something I would probably would do had I like if I wasn't if the camera wasn't rolling. Like, right, I, right, I, right. I knew that it'd make like pretty entertaining content. We we'll save that money, and, and you know what's good about that, little Dicky. The, the main thing that we do is spend that money, mm -hmm. right? Waste that yeah, money, man. spend yeah. the money that you don't have. You know, and yes. I'm the dude for real, man. When cats are doing that. Peeling the money off, yeah. I'm down there doing it. Picking it up. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, thank yeah. you. I appreciate yeah. that. I, I remember, dude, I was at a club and some dude had tossed down some bills. Yeah. And I started picking it up and people started thinking, like, oh, Big Boy's funny. I was like, no. Yeah, sure. I would have done the same like, thing. Like, this is real in the field. Real. Yeah. You know, the song, like, it, on the surface, it's like obviously ironic because you hear a lot of rap songs about spending money. Yeah. But beyond just, it's, I didn't make it like for irony's sake. Like I genuinely do have a significant amount of pride in like the ways in which I save money. I heard that. Yeah. So so this just kind of the art form. You just yeah. put it into the art form. Yeah. For so sure. So you always been good with your money. Yeah. Like I've always been like, if you owe me four dollars, like I'm gonna constantly remind you. <laughs> like, I love it. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Like, so, hey man, because it adds up. This you got is always the same you? guy who owes you four dollars. Yes, it is. And it's like I'm not gonna allow. It's never me owing him four dollars it's always him owing me every like two weeks he owes me four dollars and it adds up so i just love looking the guy in the face and just smiling like hey by the way like you know you still owe me those four dollars right. do people yeah. take do people take you serious like when it's like for like oh he just playing like no no for real bro like, no like they do i mean because I, I i that i think they think it's funny because i'm smiling and like they're like he's so cheap but like there's clearly like a serious intent in my like they pay me the money like you know right, I, get right, money. Right. Here, I here, certainly here. collect i love when you Hell loan yeah. somebody money and then when they give it back to you, it's a problem. Yeah, they I want cannot you. Here, stand man, take your funky yes. ass four dollars. Like, exactly. Damn. Like, the, like when I gave it to you, I wasn't like that at all. Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> they act like you're the one being cheap. Like, yeah. Oh. But no, it's, it's it's just constant. It's the same thing every time. It's I remember one of my person. cats, man. He had multiple cars, and one of his friends wanted to borrow a car, so he loaned it to him. Then when he asked for the car back, dude was like, "Man, you got all these cars. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you got all these cars. Like, yeah, bought the, bought the cars. Like, man, yeah. go get you a nice bike. Remember the days of riding a bike? Oh, yeah. <laughs> The art of the lost art of walking, everybody rolling around on these little mm. gadgets and everything, man. Fuzzy called Lil Dicky his partner. That's mm -hmm. Partner, partner oh. right there. Go man. ahead now, Good man. Dude. How did this relationship start for us? Well, uh, we've been knowing Dicky probably for over a year now. Go ahead yeah. now. 
I try to uh, give them some A&R uh, meetings at a couple thank of record God, labels. Thank God that that didn't happen for you with, with nah. Fuzzy attached to it. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, but, you know, when we first met, just he's a funny dude for one. Right. Mm-hmm. And he can wrap yeah. his ass off. Yeah, and, and no, no, no. if you were to leave one, either you couldn't be funny <laughs> or you couldn't rhyme, which one do you do you pick up? I think I, I think I leave rhyming. Really, though? Yeah. I don't. Th- I don't ever want to make that choice. Right, right, but right. Where you got to lock the door? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you know. My whole life is like I've always. I, you know, I've always dreamed of being an entertainer. Right. But I always it felt far more reasonable to imagine myself as a comedian. Right. Like being a so rapper. So you do stand up. I've never done. I never you done anything. Do Little Dicky is the first thing I've ever done. Like I, gra- I mean, I've done other things. Right, 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 but like, <laughs> right, right. It was like yeah. my first. The dude woke up and he yeah. <laughs> like, What the hell? <laughs> no, but like I always knew I was gonna make some sort of like major attempt. And the first attempt I made was Lil Dicky. The, How long have you been rhyming? How long you been rapping? You know, like very casually, like probably since like fifth grade. Right. Okay. Right, okay. Right, right, right. Like I remember, like I did like a report on Alexander Pushkin, the Russian poet. Go ahead. Now. Over clips grinding the beat, and it was done via a rap. <laughs> what? Nice. Yeah. I, nice. I don't have access to that. Right, right. <laughs> Somebody got it. Yeah. Was your teacher Caucasian? Yeah. I they probably love that. I got they, an they a get plus. It. Yeah. Nice. It's, it's like a so like, creative. Oh my God, yeah. I can't believe so it. Creative. Yeah. 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 But like I, I'd only start, you know, I only really sat down and like actually started taking the craft seriously like four years ago. Right. Damn. And yeah. you, I'm telling yeah, you, man, bro. you do it well. Thank mm-hmm. you. Yeah. I'm and, so and, happy that I went this route because I could have not ever known. You know what I love about it too, man, is that it's lyric. Like you gotta listen mm-hmm. to what you're saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you really gotta pay attention, bro. And I love that we getting back into. Cats being deadly with their ink once again, or now in their, you know, device. Yeah. 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 Kind, kind, kind yeah. of reading it right now. Yeah. Now, now at, let me talk to you about the the whole, did, you did the Kickstarter program. Yeah. And you really raised That's off dope, of that. Bro. Yeah, 113000 Good Lord. Ooh. Nice. Damn. Yeah. I mean, I did a little GoFundMe for somebody else, but I had my name on it. Thinking yeah. that it'll work. We raised $68 in 400 <laughs> really? days. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. Days. And the first 40 came from me just to start it off. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the public really was like, man, we're going to help. How much were you trying to raise? 70 But, like, you know, the way Kickstarter works is if you don't reach your goal, you get nothing. So I was fairly – I wanted 100 100 was what I wanted. Right. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I could, didn't want – if I put 100 and didn't get it, I get zero. So, like, oh. I put 70 because I thought I need money. Like, I yeah. definitely, like – and so seventy felt like a, it could work, and then one hundred thirteen was a super. So you got your hundred anyway. Yeah, exactly. Show you right. Did man. it turn out to be enough? Get... Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, I mean, I needed because I spent all my money. So I started this, you know, I had like between like six and eight thousand dollars in my bar mitzvah money. Oh nice. God. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> that like my parents wouldn't let me spend uh, this whole time, and then I graduated college, and I knew I was going to make this attempt in some form, and I thought. What better way to spend this money? Like it's like now you buy, like go for your dreams, or you buy like a really nice couch when you're like 33. Yeah, ah. man. Yeah, Dude, it's a good thing you Damn. didn't trip and say I need the couch. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, what I'm saying? Love seat. <laughs> As I think I just proved, but you can make music videos for very little money. Yeah. Now, yeah. how much did you actually save that money? How much did that actually cost? Like well, I from- made I made money. I probably. Yeah. Yeah, so it didn't cost me anything. Nice. Uh, so when we see like the, and you got to, I don't even want to start saying names because right. we're not getting nothing. Yeah, exactly. But we wear, <laughs> they send us me undies. Yeah. We yeah. wear them. <laughs> exactly. Do you guys wear me undies? Man, yeah. yeah Louis. Aren't, yes. they, aren't they amazing? Amazing. They're, they're like the best. I wear them Man. every day. Yo, I'm not t- I don't like endorse things. He just can peel them. them off for his boyfriend <laughs> in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like he's like, oh man, it's so good, easy to pull it's off. So soft, you know what I'm man. saying? They come yeah, down stretchy. on the back easier than the front. <laughs> there he is. So you say you made money? Is, is that just from like product placement? Yeah, and, spon- and there, you know there are minimal costs associated. Like you know I've got a crew of like four people that I have to I literally have to feed lunch and dinner mm-hmm. to. Like, right, right, right. To, and like then you got thirty hours of footage at least that you got to pay an editor to go through. Like these, you know, I don't have like best friends that are just gonna like sit and do this completely. Right. But all my, I, I knew that I wasn't going to – I made sure that my all my costs were covered. I was like, I'm not spending any money on this video. So I got enough brands involved to where I could literally say, oh, I made money, and then I just stopped. I wonder how many – because now dope, you, you think you were close to 10 million views and growing? Yeah. So you wow. think now, what about the ones that didn't – Allow you to step on their business, or you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You gave everybody their website yep. or their ads, or you know. Well, you know, I think the the interesting part of the video is I did it at like the perfect level threshold of fame, to where like my I had just enough to where I could pull it off, but right? Not enough to where it'd be the easiest thing in the world, you know? Right, like, right, 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 right. Yeah, it was like the sweet spot. 
and, and because it looked difficult. It you was know what I'm saying? Because dude, I no one know. I mean, I'm like obviously rising, but like you know, I put my album out July 31st, right? And it was in New York City, and like the album went number one on Billboard Rap. Congratulations like, you know, to you, you, bro. Yeah. But like that night, I literally could not. And this is just me as a human being trying to like have fun with my friends because I just put my album out. Right. I couldn't get into a bar in New York. <laughs> right. no. yeah. And then my, my friends are like, just tell them who you are. Right. And like, like I'll this go. It's not going to work. Uh, yeah. So, so I go up and be like, okay, uh, so I'm at, you know, I'm a rapper. And he's like, I don't care who you are. Right. And, and then I feel like an even bigger asshole. Yeah. Like trying yeah. to get the billboard charts yeah. to show like, that. I literally was pulling up. I was like, yeah, and because I even noticed really? in, the, in the makings of you got to like kind of like this is me. I yeah. have to. You know, I have yeah. to because I think people just you know I don't. Look the parts. So. How do you get <laughs> Fetty Wap and Rich Homie Quan? Yeah, like, how do you yes. get these, these kids? Do they know just little? Do they know your body of work beforehand? So the way it all works, I, I, it's very much manager to manager. So right. like, you got a manager, they can get to any manager. At that point, a manager's gonna see like, oh, this little Dicky's manager wants this, this, and that. In I'm sure my manager's email, there's like a write up of like what I've accomplished. I think minimally. Those accomplishments are impressive enough to warrant where that manager feels compelled to then Homie pass along Kwan his plan. Fetty Wap. Well, so then, so then, it, so then, Snoop. Well, you know, like these. So aren't... it gets to the clients, you know. So it gets to these guys. They listen, and you you can't really argue with it. It's like very. I think it's dope. It's like good stuff. And I think... I've been doing radio, yeah, man, for dope. years. Yeah. And I ask cats like, man, jump on this with me. Damien, like, man, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> <laughs> you know wow. what I'm saying? Like, go on, big. You know, like, go on. <laughs> get well, out of here. What I found is that so my, I had worries going into this that like people could perceive it as like a shtick or a joke. Mm -hmm. But what I've seen is that rappers more than anybody appreciate what I'm doing because A, they are well aware of how well I'm rapping. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, B, and B, I think they get how much level of detail goes into it and how unique it is and how different it is and refreshing it is. And I think they respect it more than anybody does. Man, I think I think yeah, it's man. just a great genius, just the whole concept. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No, you know, dope. I wish I could tell you I thought about it so I could sue you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, I, 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 he thought about it first. Yeah. Dude, I've been sitting here since we said, yeah, we'll do the interview. I've been sitting here thinking, how could I create a lawsuit yeah, man, or create something that this man. dude feel like I was responsible for I probably counter this. sue. I love yeah. that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I love this. This is a man that let everybody in for free for his listening party and charge you to get out. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, free listening party. All right, it's $30 to get out. Fuzz was like, man, ask him to ex uh, explain his name. I just thought that it was... Lil Dicky. <laughs> you know David. what I'm saying? We're like, yeah. So, David, how did you come to Lil Dicky? Yeah, so... You know, I got like when I first got my MacBook Pro, like mm -hmm. the first day, you know, Garage Band's on it, and like, you know, I, like I said, I always kind of rap for fun, like walking around rapping, but like never had it been an option where I could literally drag like a high quality MP3 beat into like a computer, and then there's a built-in mic, and I could like start singing and like pitch correct, you know, like I just thought right. like all of a sudden I could like make like a reasonable sounding thing. So the first day I'm playing around, and I just, you know, Lil Wayne was probably my favorite rapper at the time. It's like Drought Three, like Lil Wayne. And I called myself Lil Dicky at the, like in that moment. Uh, I th you know I think it was like a small penis joke if I'm being completely honest. And then, <laughs> yeah. and, Damn. and then and then you know when the time came to make my actual like when I was like you're gonna be a rapper, I made like a whole list of names in a word document, and like nothing felt as right as Lil Dicky. And I'm you know I'm not like a fate karma kind of guy, but I do like rewarding moments. Right. You right. Know? Yeah. And uh, you know I also wanted like a lot of what I do as a rapper, like I keep it like extremely real. And I like encapsulating what sometimes you see in, is like in mainstream hip hop is like, you know, braggadocio, like I'm the man type right. vibe. And I wanted to kind of encapsulate the opposite of that to some extent in my rap name and in my raps in general. So I wanted my name to kind of represent. That, what like, were some no, of the I'm, other names on that list? I, you know, coming in second was Young Man. Young Man. <laughs> young man. Yeah. Hey, Young Man. Yeah, Young, young, man. I young man. But Young Man is not like my hove. It's like I, I think All I, right. I, like, I still, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still feel ownership of Young Man. Yes, you should. Yeah. So, so and then that you put it out in the universe, you got to claim young it man. as yours so nobody yeah. else can no, jump in. It's like, you know, on Twitter how you can pick a different name? Yeah. I'll yeah. call myself Young Man on young Twitter. Man. Yeah. Young yeah, Man. Yeah. Anything Hilarious. other than Young Man and Lil Dicky? You know what? The third, and I really like, like this name, it's just Dave. Right, but I think uh. I think for Google search purposes, it would have been a nightmare. Oh, yeah, for sure. hell yeah, believe that, man. Oh, we yeah. remember we lost Tom with MySpace. Remember when yeah. MySpace took a dive? We yeah. ain't heard from Tom. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Tom, he tried to rap, and he uh, it, it's a whole different. You got to deal with that. You got to deal with that. Yeah, it was a terrible situation what happened to that guy, Tom. Yeah, T Pain is a good dude. Yeah, the best dude mm. on earth. Man, yeah. So you went down to T Pain's video. Yeah. to shoot your video. 
a lot of rappers wouldn't do that. Yeah. But T Pain understood. That. I knew he'd understand. So, you know, he wanted, I, I was giving him first and foremost a cameo for his video. And I was in his video. I don't know if you've seen his video. Yeah. I did, you know, I think I killed my cameo. Because yeah. that, that's what <laughs> you do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I can't do no I love more. It. Yeah. Peace, one take. <laughs> yeah. One take. But, uh, you know, I mean, so that T Pain thing. So we had the idea to make this video, and I thought, like genuinely that it wasn't going to work like I thought you know why would these people let me in their houses why, like I don't necessarily I think it'd be you get a lot of funny rejection were footage. you ever thinking like all I need is one yeah, that's, yeah. All, that's all, all I was I thinking need is one. the whole time I'm thinking all I need is one that's all I'm thinking and then the T-Pain thing wasn't even an idea that like crossed our minds but then the first day we start shooting stuff he texts me can you come give me a cameo and I've got like these four oh camera guys I'm like Lord, this is dude. perfect so I like you know thought long and hard about like how to phrase this. I'm like, yeah, like I'm <laughs> just so you know, I'm also shooting a video. I wonder if you'd allow this, this, and that. And he had heard save that money, and he got the concept, and he thought it was hilarious. So I went there, and that was the first day, and that's where I kind of thought like, man, this video has like a lot of legs. That's dope. Yeah, he was probably like, yeah, come on down and let's shoot this. It was so <laughs> yeah, come on, I understand. I mean, he was in the video like, yeah, but he's shooting a music video. He want to yeah. come down here, and like, <laughs> music video with us. So yeah, yeah. That's a great TV. Oh, fashion. thank you, my brother. Thank you. Sometimes I do his VOs when he don't want to do. Something. Yeah, yeah, I call it the other radio stations and everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. hey, how you doing? Hey, T Pain. Hey, fuck hey. off, man. <laughs> <laughs> you just a butthole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, that's a good dude, man. The T Pain did a solid. Yeah. Yep. Really, and I mean, that helps everybody because we're already at like 10 minutes. Why you didn't call us, man? Yeah, man, come on. I should have. You say you listen to us on the radio and everything, man. Could have come up in the I studio. Should've. Yeah, we could have. Oh, man. I thought, yeah, I should have. I but, but you didn't. Yeah, missed yeah, opportunity. Man. You know? You can't, you can't win them all. And, and you know, and we can't. And recreate the magic. No, but there'll be more yeah. opportunities. But not this one. Yeah, man, come on. You know, I'll still take it. This is just uh, the first of hopefully many. How do many. we know, little Dicky? You, you don't leave here and you get hit by a tour bus. Oh, you can't. Oh, I have like, what? you know, I have so <laughs> much OCD that I can't even engage in this conversation. Okay, no! well, that's, that's <laughs> not, yeah, yeah. That, that's bad. Yeah. You really, oh, do you do that? Oh, oh my, my God, God. how bad is your OCD? It's horrible. Like, it, it, like actually, it used to be terrible. Like, I used to like have issues. Wait, are, are you one of the cats? Like, if you're in a restroom, do you have to? Tap the faucet, or I used to. I used to take twenty minutes to brush my teeth. Like oh, it, really? Yeah. Like when I was like fourteen, like there was like an ish. Like it was like it's it snowballed to the point of like where there was one night where like these rituals just started piling up and taking and like so it took like twenty five minutes to brush my teeth and I just couldn't handle it. Yeah. And I and the whole thing was based around the premise of nobody in my family dying. It was like that was why I wanted. Oh, so no. like so then like I thought like if I stopped doing it the next day someone's gonna die. Mm. Yeah, but man. then. It got to a point where I literally couldn't enjoy my life. So one night I was just like, "Fuck it!" Like I can't do something. Right, yeah, person, the radio. Yeah, you're, 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 okay. yeah, I was just like, it's, it's, I, "I can't deal with this." So like, if someone dies, they die. And then, right, like, right, right. And the next day, no one died, and I was like, "Oh." And then like, you it was know, over, like one hurdle. Yeah. Can you yeah. imagine how bad it would have been if someone died? Damn. Yeah. What kind of bubble you be really Man, living I'd in? I'd be like frozen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, frozen. Now I gotta brush my teeth for 50 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Still not. So we gotta move on. What's your good look? What's your good look? Like what? I used to go. Eight with the right, eight with the left, and then eight at the same time. And when I say at the same time, like if my right hits slightly before my left, when I'm doing the same time, I have to start the whole process over. Oh, see, I do wow. knock, knock on Damn. here, knock on here, knock on here, and it's got to be one, two, three, one, two, yeah. three. I got the same totally. thing with that. Are you serious? But if that's my only kind. Of, or if you're split poles, if you're walking and you walk oh, yeah, on either yeah, side yeah. of the pole, got to yeah, have see, the pole. Yeah, I don't do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh gotta say peanut God. butter and jelly when Lately, you get it. Lately, I'm trying to like because honestly, my life is so stressful at this point, and, I, and it's becoming like so I guess high profile. I just literally can't. Like afford to live this wow. way, so I'm just trying to be like, fuck. Wow. Yeah. So what was some of the work? Okay, so the knocking is eight with the right. Yeah, there was way more. Like I had to. This is pathetic. But is that your manager, your partner behind you? Yeah. Mike. Every time you saying something, Mike's shaking his head like, yeah, yeah. 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 It was a mess. You know what I'm saying? We had to give him fake call times. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I had to. I mean, this was all before. This was like I'm 27 now. This was like when I was 14. So like you know, when I left my mom, like I would say I'd have to kiss her directly in the center of her cheek. She'd have to kiss me directly in the center of her cheek. And I'd be like, I love you, Mom. Drive safe. See you soon. You had to do it just, just like, like that. that. And then I had to, it's pathetic, but I had to envision her face and a heart. Oh, wow. That's so sweet, though. Damn, yeah. bro. I don't know why I was thinking. And do you think wow. we all got a little OCD? I, yeah, I think everybody. Maybe, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, because let me tell you, when I'm driving home, I do a, like, it's a car count ah. that I do where I got to see a certain amount of Mercedes Benzes. No. Like, it, it, sometimes, and it's bad. Yeah. I'm on the freeway and I'm like, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> you know, like that? Yeah. Whoa, really? Yeah, okay. man. And uh, my wife always asks, she said, baby, why do you put your, like, if I, I wear shorts a lot, but I gotta put on my shoes first. Huh? Yeah. No. Damn. When I cut my hair, I gotta go 20, like one, two, 
three. And then really? if I if I miscount, I gotta start all over again. Oh, but that's stupid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was stupid. Yeah, that, 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 that's stupid, man. Stupid. That's ridiculous. It's the same like oh, that, no, else it's is. not. No, it's well, not. Yeah, oh my god. You count cards. You're, you're a dweeb. <laughs> you're, you're a dweeb, <laughs> man. <laughs> like, I don't even count cards. I was just saying that to see what your stupid ass was saying. Tell me, this dude he fell for it. Yeah, we're doing a new video called "Fucking Dweebs." And you just made a cameo in it. Thank you so much. 20 times. Yeah, 20 times. Who does that? I never knew about your counting cards. I don't. I was just saying that, man. I'm hip. Ridiculous. Come on, man. I'm hip hop. He had to make a fake environment for you. Yeah, I had to to make a fake family tree. You know, it was a trust tree. What's going on right now? Well, we just wanted you to come out and tell us, man. Okay, well, Dickie, I feel you, bro. Oh, Oh, I got you, man. Now, when you you tap hands with him, you good with that? Actually, so... No. <laughs> I don't know if you notice I like kind of I always have to explode a little bit because the only person that I pound straight yeah. on is my grandfather and he's dead. So like I can't yeah. I wow. heard that. Yeah. You like we, we, we used to go like this and like so now like I never pound anyone else straight. You gotta on. explode on I gotta explode them. a little bit. That very subtle cr- explosion. Yeah. <laughs> and let me I, I gotta give you another one, dude, and I try to break this. But when I leave the crib, I gotta kiss my family members in order. Interesting. An order of like birth. Like I gotta. Nah, no, oh, man. Oh. I gotta. I kiss my daughter first, mm-hmm. and then I kiss my son, and then I kiss my wife. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really. Everybody's got something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Fuzz looking at me like, are you serious? <laughs> like, and it's, so and it's learning about each it's other. It's every night. Like when I get up, I get dressed in another room so I don't disturb my wife. Yeah. Right. So I get up and I have a picture of my mom. My mom rest in peace. And when I go by, I gotta stop at that picture and kiss my mom first. Yeah. Then I go mm-hmm. shower, and then when I come out. I gotta when I before I leave I gotta kiss my daughter then I go and I kiss my son then I go and I kiss my wife sometimes I tap her puss too on the real you know what I'm saying either I tap her tap, tap. tap her puss or I uh, <laughs> touch her ass you yeah. know what I'm saying but I I, I gotta kiss her uh, yeah. yeah and the same with my kids it could be three in the morning and I could be going to sleep for just twenty minutes I gotta go in and kiss kiss good my kids yeah uh, it's, it's yeah. crazy I think that good means you you're a good last. person yes. yeah thank you my brother yeah, thank you thank love. you but we. Used to, I mean, I'm sure you'd still do it today. Um, when you pass across, yeah, yeah. When I pass across, you know, right. like yeah. there's one. No matter if That's... it's raining or anything, little Dicky, there's one cross on my way to work. Yeah, it could be raining. I got to roll the window down. I, <laughs> I <gotta> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's right there off of White Oak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off yeah, the yeah. 101. Yeah, yeah. So wow. those are my. They've been doing that for years. I, I wink at every car that only has one headlight on. Oh, I what? have to wink every time he's got to wink. See, I don't need these. <laughs> Look at things coming. Out. It's funny. That yeah, this is like <laughs> therapy. Do you have anything? Or, Come no? on, fun. I do. I, I feel bad if I... When he eat a chicken wing, he got to swallow the whole thing. It's <laughs> <laughs> a black thing, too. You wouldn't understand this one, though. sounds crazy. But I always got to put on my right uh, sock first. Really, mm. though? Right shoe, right sock. Are you sock. serious? Yeah. Oh, that's stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Bro. If I don't, I, don't I feel crazy. About you. Yeah. yeah. We all got it, yeah. man. It's crazy, man, because there's sometimes, like, if I'm watching a good, like, TV show, I got to, like, do, do horse sounds while I'm watching it. No. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Baby, that's, that's with my wife running, like, oh, I got to watch this picture. <laughs> <laughs> Big boy. Big boy. All righty, let's go. Yeah. 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 We got a little dicky <laughs> up in here, man. Now, the tour is going on right now as we speak, my yeah. brother. Love it. Yeah. How has the turnouts been looking? Great. That's crazy. Yeah. I, I love it. I have a lot of pride in my live show. It's like really unique. Right. Yeah. Now, when you say unique, what do you mean by unique? Well, this particular tour in general uh, is actually like, it's called a Looking for Love tour. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> Now, why are they Looking for Love tour? Because I'm like a- Are you? I'm you on a, Tinder? Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you? Yeah, he's on Tinder. Just yeah. stop looking for love in all the wrong places. Yeah. I know I'm a hopeless romantic. I'm like very much not like, are, oh, let me go on tour and f- like fuck a million girls. I'm right. like, oh, let me meet my wife and like fall like into the deepest love known to man. Oh, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I heard yeah, that. that guy, huh? And sometimes you got to keep on trying because you just don't find her sometimes. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, like, ah, she's yeah. not her. Yeah. Mike, come get her out yeah. the room. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> At this point, I feel like, you know, the rap thing is just going to allow me to like really be patient with it. You know, like now, now I feel like there's no reason to settle. Do you fall in love with all the girls you meet? Uh, you seem like initially, yeah, relationship yeah. guy. Are initially, you, yeah, and then, and then I immediately start noticing flaws, and I get out. Like, I'm, yeah, they turned off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was one of the things wow. where that you've done that you can't believe you done like while you were in love? Raw dog. No. There you yeah. go. No one regrets it. Be nice. Um, <laughs> you can regret it. Like I can't, you know, I'm like, like I, I'm, I guess I'm overly sweet and mm. like my high school. That's gr- crazy. I don't get that from you. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. My high school girlfriend, like. So you know Laguna Beach, the TV show, like, yeah. back in the day? So, like, back when I was a senior in high school, 
that was when that show started popping off. And everybody in that show, when they asked people to prom, they did it in some like ridiculously like Over the interesting way. Elaborate ways. So then all the girls in, in like I think America that year were like, "Why don't you ask me for prom?" Right. Like, so then at, one fucking guy in my school, <laughs> like you know, went on like the announcements and was like, "Christina, like, would you go to and, like?" And then everyone was like, "Oh, like, like the, the class announcements." Yeah, exactly. The yeah. bar got super. And then uh, another guy filled like his whole like girlfriend's car up with flowers. Like like the whole bar was set really high, like <laughs> stuffed with flowers. Like, you couldn't even, like, she opened the door and, like, you know, flowers fell out. In your face, yeah. Yeah, like, ridiculous. That's when you pick up some of the flowers, like, hey, would yeah. you go to prom yeah. with you? Yeah. So, my, I had a girlfriend, and uh, I didn't even think I needed to ask her to prom. Right, because she's like, she's like a serious girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Like, But she was like, mandatory. you're such a prick, like, why aren't you going to ask me to prom? <laughs> so then, like, one day I left school early, uh, which was kind of reckless. Go ahead now. Yeah. <laughs> it was senior year, though. It was senior year. But already... you're gangster like that, yeah, too, exactly. though. Yeah, exactly. I was already in college. Like, I got accepted, so I was like, whatever. Uh I, you know, I picked a lot of flowers and like I made like a path of flowers all the way up to her room. Bruh. And then when she got there, there was eight balloons on her bed, which was our both of our lucky numbers. This is like at her house? At her house, eight balloons. And there was a pin, a little pin, like a bobby pin. And on a note, it said, I guess I'm not that much of a prick after all. The pin being on prick. prick. She pricks every balloon. It's like, Allie, will you go? I forget. There's like a message that was each balloon. But the thing is, she didn't even... So she comes in, sees the the note, sees the balloons, and she just goes, "Yes, I'll go with you." Oh. You're like, "No, she you're like, like, you got to prick each yeah. one." Like, <laughs> like, nah, the, whole, the whole next. Did level. you do all that at her that's house? Cool. Yeah. And her yeah. parents allowed you to do that? Yeah, her parents loved Damn, me. Damn, she got some cool ass parents. Yeah, yeah that's clever. Somebody tell. gonna knock on my door. With my daughter, like, "Hey, yeah. we want to come and do these five minutes. Hey, man, get out of here." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was in with her parents. They liked me. I heard that, man. So what happened to the love of the? Uh, so High that, then we went to college and we actually dated the freshman year long distance, which is like one of the bigger mistakes I've ever made. Yes. It's just oh. like impossible to work. Yeah. And uh, she actually broke up with me with like two, with like two weeks left of co- like I met, went all the way through freshman year, like just thinking like just get to the summer. Yeah. Freshman right, right, year was like so average as a result. Like I was thinking of transferring because like I didn't do anything fun. I was just like Skyping with my girlfriend. <laughs> right. And uh, then two weeks left, she actually met another guy. And uh, devastated, devastated, like probably yeah. like, you know, the saddest I've ever been. She did end up dating this guy for two years, which I think does make it a little bit. Yeah, better. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but but does she know what's going on yeah, now yeah. with you? She yeah, we, 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 keep we, in touch. we actually I like stay friends with all my like I'm like best friends with my ex-girlfriends. Now they, yeah, yeah, there was a song that didn't make it to the album called Fucking Bitch. Right. <laughs> Was that about her? There was a song actually about this whole situation called Winter Break. That oh, okay, make. that's oh. it. Okay, I thought it was yeah. fucking bitch. My bad. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, my notes. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, yeah, it's yeah. Just it. Oh, no, no, FB. I'm in Facebook. Yeah. My bad. You know, you mentioned you're on Tinder. Are you really on Tinder, or oh, you yeah. just have the app? Oh no, I'm like a serial online dater. Like, that's okay. dope. That's the only way. I, Because I don't go out. Like I really just I work so hard to the point where I don't. I can't. I don't feel like I can go out and be hung over the next day. So like I, and even so, what you do? You swipe and tell them to come by the house, or you go? Oh no, I go out on. Like I just don't like go out to like. Bars, right, and like right, hit, right. Hit on girls. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And I think that whole thing is like very difficult, anyways. To be like, I'm, I'm not good in that situation comparatively, but I'm great on a date. I heard that. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I, I'm on all of them. Like Hinge, Tinder, Bumble, oh. Bumble. Yeah, I'm on oh, Bumble. Damn. Okay, Cupid. And actually, that? there's this new app. It's called Raya. That uh, it's like you have to apply to get into. I think it's for like kind of celebrities and like super hot girls. Oh. How did you spell it? R A Y A. R A. Are you scoring on there? Uh, I've you know I've met I've gone on like a few I'm like on tour now so it's like hard but yeah like I, I'll tell you one thing I'm like at least texting with like the hottest girls I've ever texted with now are yeah. you sure we'll to say the hottest with girls pictures? because oh yeah they have slideshows I mean literally Damn. one girl is like you know the Carl's Jr. commercials but yeah. yeah one of them is her, her. Charlotte McKinley oh, wow. no not her oh. right, right, right. <laughs> one, of one of them he would have said Charlotte McKinley yeah. but he yeah. was like you know one of the other ones you yeah. know what I'm saying that's over yeah. to the side when she slides off the got car got it yeah. <laughs> so you have a, like a online Damn. dating folder on your iPhone or something oh I have like grouped a whole, together I have like a yeah totally yeah it's on page I think it's gonna be destigmatized in three years it's just such an efficient way to meet people for sure what does it say on your profile though does it say like professional rapper yeah my my like you get like one sentence i say i'm a professional rapper with a big heart Aww. and a little no i leave that oh. out <laughs> okay. more now <laughs> and like you know obviously like you know like my like my first picture is just me like in a tux looking like handsome but my second my second picture is like <laughs> my second <laughs> picture is like hilarious my g second picture is like me and like chris brown and snoop oh like, yeah you gotta get those on like the basketball oh, oh, court yeah yeah, and it's like, yeah, all. like I definitely like like try to show off as I, every like, interesting picture I have is like in my online dating profile. Uh, sure. yeah. that's, why that's why I rap is to build my online dating profile. Yeah. I heard that. Like, like, man, like, yeah. Hold on, wait. Yeah. This will help me get this. Yeah. Oh my god. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a given. Yeah. Do you see yourself getting married? 
Oh my god, yeah. Can we kids? I think I think if in terms of satisfac- satisf- satisfaction in life, if like it's a circle, half of it is like becoming like the most I could become from like a talent career perspective. Mm-hmm. And I think that individual half is divided into into quarters into like rap and comedy. Right, 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 right. And then the other, and then the other, whole the other half? half is love and family and like yeah. So what do you look for in a girl? Uh you know, I don't even know yet. Like I'm like still trying to find out, but like I really prefer them to be intelligent. Mm. Uh like I'm not interested in unintelligent girls. Not for sure. Uh I, great sense of humor. Finds me funny and like Go ahead now. Not, what? Big what? butt, big breast. What, which? Are you uh, a breast man, butt man, face man? man? Face man first. Face, face man. Really? I heard that. Face uh-huh. man first. Uh, yeah. You know, I'd probably prefer breast to butt. Go ahead now. Um, You know, like logical. Like they need to be able to like understand the merits of an argument and like not like be like, oh, whatever. I'm just going to shut down because I'm like, I can't. I'll start crying. Like I need to like, like arguments are like ex- incredibly productive. And like there's a common ground here and let's just be adults and figure out what it is and then I'll understand where you're coming from and you'll understand where I'm coming from. Dude, so. I love you, man. I love you, too. <laughs> I love you great, man. Good dude. I love this I cat, love man. That. Now, we, we want to we wanna go ahead and have you do something for us, man. Okay, I just want to like really clarify it before that we do this that I'm okay. just, I have no pride in like the level in which I freestyle. Okay. I'm very much like a prepared, like I'll wake up at 8.30 and write a verse type of guy. Right, right. Uh, you know. it, yeah. So is this, is this totally... Off the brain, yep. You know, and like, I don't even have a verse to give you like that's written. So like this is all you, that I can give you. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully it'll like be like average enough to where it's funny. All right, let's yeah. make it happen. Here. here we go. All right, we got a little Dicky up in here. Yeah, big boy. Hey. Oh, and hey. you don't stop. Hey, 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 big boy. Let me ask. What's with the bottle of the ranch behind you, over his shoulder? I don't think the viewership can see this, but he legitimately has a bottle of Wishbone Ranch. Hello. Hey, what this... you trying to put that on? You know, well, hey. this is for my salad. Oh. I'm like Khaled. Hey. Sometimes I write a slow song, it's called a ballad. Oh my God. And then I freestyle. Hey. But the style ain't free. They call me Big and that's B-I-G. I'm a salad guy. Hey. And I love my ranch. Sometimes... You're monopolizing my freestyle, homie. Oh, sorry, brother. Go ahead. Let me talk about the ranch. Let me get some chicken nuggets. Let me talk about the ranch. Uh. Buffalo on the side. Ooh. Mix it with the ranch. Uh. Ketchup on the side. Ooh. Let me try to dance. Ooh. Do the dance, LD. Let me spaz on them. Last week in the club, up in flip flops. Oh, yeah. Man. Now I'm on the hip hop chart. Uh, How'd I do this? I am Jewish. I am not a nudist. I would go to a nude beach, keep on my drawers, and uh, just peep. Woo. All the bad bitches, but I do discreet shit. Yeah. Woo. Never street shit. Woo. If I do, I might geek shit. Woo. I might freak bitches. Let me get this, man. Get Let it. me do my part. Let me jump in here, rhyme from the heart and from the dome. Kick back, (laughs) relax, make yourself at home. Back in the days, you know my gun was chrome. Now, I walk on that beach and see a fly girl naked. Looking fuzzy, say, should I take it? Should I go over there and smack her on the ass? Then after that, go get some gas from Shell or maybe Chevron. Word is bond. Assalamu alaikum. That's Farrakhan. And that's the way it is, bro. Lil Dicky, go ahead and kick the freestyle flow. Oh. Oh. I wish I could rap like Future. Woo! If I did, I would be the best out. Woo! Now I stress out. Woo! Cause I gotta think of all these damn Sad. ideas. I don't know though. I just wanna take a photo with Drake one day. Damn. Every day I wake up and I wonder how come Drake hasn't called my cell phone. Oh man. One day I will tell home base that Drake called me face to face, as in a FaceTime. Oh, He's man. like I heard your shit, great rhymes. Uh. I'm like, thank you, Drake. Now I'll just look like I'm on Drake's dick too hard. Uh, but no. I am. <laughs> I am. I certainly am. I think he's the best out. Go ahead. Now I can understand that, bro. Yeah. Because Drake doesn't have a good flow. He yes. does. And that's true. Yeah. He's from Canada. Oh. Sometimes I want to ban the oh. rappers that come in here and start rhyming. Yeah. After that, you know, I start climbing the chart to the top, but I get a little scared because I'm afraid of heights. Blacks and whites, browns, hey. can't forget about the others. <laughs> all of <all> those <laughs> sisters and my brothers. All of them, all of them. It's a freestyle oh, yeah. that we're doing here. Kind of yes. comedy, comedic, orthopedic. Ooh. It's my shoes because sometimes my feet hurt. Yeah. Dave, my real name is Big Kurt. I didn't know that. I wanted to share that with you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Uh, Go ahead and keep going and keep flowing. Hey, okay, hey, yeah. 
I walk in the club butt naked. Butt naked? Uh, actually, I don't. He doesn't. He was but just playing. Yeah. But last night, I walked in the club in flip-flops. I think I already said that shit in this rhyme. But you did it twice. That means I'm nice. Yeah. Twice as nice. I might go to school again. I might get another degree and get cool oh, again. Man. I might do Broadway musicals, rent. Ooh. I might tell my mom that I'm leaving L.A. I oh. might find a blonde bitch and move to Pompeii. Hello. I might get 150 bitches on my Instagram naked. And they might do direct message me and say, take it. I'm like, face it. I could, I could spin you over. Go ahead now. What's that mean? I could spin them over. Yeah, man. I could spend on them. Yeah. I could flex on them. Yes. I could have sex on, on them. them. Like, Damn. How on did a I beach. And peach to Chong and Cheech. Hey. Yeah. That's Cheech and Chong. Am I wrong? Word is bong. I don't smoke blunts or a bong. If Hello. you did, I would load it up with marijuana. Woo! I would call my mom and say, let me get more do marijuana. Do you smoke? I smoke probably six days a week. Ow. I like to not do all seven because I Woo. feel like if I do, I won't go to heaven. I really start feeling bad about oh, myself. man. But you Sometimes. should know I don't feel go like ahead. I do believe in afterlife. I'm just saying that. Right. I also didn't mean to cut you off. I was just rapping. That's okay, my hey. brother. It's like Hong Kong Fui. Hey. 13th, <laughs> these are joints from Louis. Louis, Louis. With glass tips, so flip, so smoke that shit. What's up, blood? What's up, Crip? What's up, blood? What's up, Crip? What's up, Latin yeah. Kings? What's up, Hello. every damn gang? Everything. Everything. 18th Street. I don't want to start naming all these gangs. Me neither. But no affiliation. I'm, I'm unaffiliated with the gangs. I just like to have fun. There it is, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. There it is. That right there is what we call an OG freestyle. Yeah. Yeah. Man, That's our first one right there, that man. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah, that was I, ridiculous, man. I don't know how much forward. time I could actually get off to go on the road with you. Yeah, man. It's going to have to think about that. Wasn't that, that funny, Mike? Um, yeah, <laughs> so we're trying to put something together. Yeah, Best man. believe it. Do, do you get asked, are you a comedian or a rapper, or is that a, a fair question? Well, yeah, I, I, I guess it's confusing to people. But do you do you write? Are you a comedic writer as well? Like, I'd like to be. Like. Mm -hmm. Like I I I want to like I'm starting to work on my own TV show. That's dope. That's like, have you seen Curb Your Enthusiasm? Yes. Mm -hmm. So like, imagine that, but instead of Larry, it's you know the 27 year old version of him. Right. Who's a rapper? Instead of Larry David, is David. Exactly. You should be called David Larry. Larry. David Larry. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, my life is like incredibly interesting. Like, you know, yesterday, and 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 it's only starting to now get this interesting. But like yesterday, you know, I'm. Literally drinking red wine at Sasha Baron Cohen's house. Hello. Wow. Yeah. The day before, um, Waka Flock of Flame is pulling me. I'm like sitting side stage, just like really like passively texting, like not really paying attention. And all of a sudden, he grabs me and pulls me out in the middle of his fucking EDM set. Oh, like right, oh, right in the middle of like the hey, drop. Waka Flock of Flame is not playing with that right now. He is the best in like the world at like the EDM game right that now. That dude is a beast. I'm telling you, he is the biggest beast. And he like tapped into some the real best work. Yeah. Totally. And like, he, so he threw me on stage, which was amazing. It was one of the coolest moments of my life. But like, right as like the beat was building, and then like all of a sudden, like I have to like go fucking. <laughs> I, don't even, I like blacked out. I don't even know what the hell happened. Right. There's like ten thousand like drunk kids like jumping, and then the day before, like Andre Ether of the Dodgers is inviting me to the Dodgers game, and I'm on the field, oh, and like I saw that. yeah, and it's like so it's like I'm just living a very interesting life, and I'm still the same and like then weird you come neurotic here Jew. And we totally yeah. mess it all up. No, this is another like I think. No, you know, when you start, when you was on a roll, like right. you like <laughs> when you go somewhere tomorrow, right. you won't start off and say yesterday, yesterday I was with Big, Big Boy, boy. No. and the day before I was. No, with I Waka think I will. Yeah. I think I will because I think these this are really because interesting. I said too. it right now, but you but know, this you is know. a scene in the TV show, and like maybe something goes like a little bit wronger, you know, you know, I don't know what happens, and then like there's it's like weird. And then, like, I don't know. You well, know. whatever it is, yeah. let it be known. So, yeah. comedy, or, do, do you, or... And fi okay, so, I, you know, I think people get confused. Like, I don't like when people say, oh, he's he's being funny. I don't have to take him seriously as a rapper. Because I think mm. I'll, like, out-rap anybody. Right. Like, that's how I feel about it. Um, but, you know, I think in five years, I'd like to also be, like, in movies and have my own TV show up and running. And, like, be, like, kind of, like, you know, in every realm of entertainment. Did you move to L.A. to make it? Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, I, I lived in San Francisco, and you have to be out here. So I always, I always knew that I, I felt deep down like I've always had this cloud over me that like you know anywhere I went the feedback was like you're really funny and I wasn't really satisfied being everyone's funny friend and I don't think like the Jonah Hills and Seth Rogans of the world began as much more than everyone's funniest friend. Mm -hmm. So I started rapping to get noticed for being funny and then it really was like thank God I made that choice of rapping because I think. I could have easily not known that I, you know, I think I'm going to be but an important rapper. But you know what, Digga, what I love too, it's not parody rap. No. You know what I'm saying? It's not like where you just look and you like, 
like, oh, this dude is it's just funny, and it's like, you know, this is the new Weird Al Yankovic. No. It's like, it's totally opposite. And you I, I'm I'm happy you, I think I'm happy you appreciate that. Yeah, very much so, man. Great work, my brother. Uh, thank you. I was reading a story where someone um, asked you to take a photo with your, like, height man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Can you tell, yeah. explain the story. You know, so I clearly don't look like your typical rapper. Right. And uh, I was at this thing called, like, College Fest in Boston. And it's, like, where all, like, the freshmen at the local colleges come together and, like, do a little, there's, like, tents where, like, you know, and one of the tents was, like, meet Lil Dicky. Mm. And, uh, you know, I'm not, like, incredibly mainstream famous yet. So, like, some people knew who I was and were taking pictures. And other people just walk by and they see people taking pictures. And they're, like, oh, there must be someone famous here. I want to take a picture. Yeah. So my hype man, Gata, is like, you know, he's got dreads, he's got tattoos on his face. Love it. He's, he's more of what you might expect a rapper to look like. Um, and, uh, you know, this this girl walks up to me and says, can you take a picture of me and Lil Dicky? And then she walks up to Gata. Puts Hugs on, him. Yeah, and then I just say, sure, I take the picture. <laughs> there are times where I'm like on stage, you know, holding the microphone for sound check, and like the sound guy's like, all right, when is the rapper going to get here? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I, I'm ready. Let's like these <laughs> damn rappers. Yeah. Good Lord, man. Yeah. Probably talking to you like this Fucking yeah. little dicky. But I think, I think I've been it, here. I think oh. it adds to it. Adds, it's kind of like the the charm to the whole thing. Mm, I heard that, man. Yeah. Do you do you think that if you weren't little dicky, not the name, but just the look? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That you would have got into. Well, you got turned down by a lot of people at their houses, so it wasn't yeah. like it they wasn't, just letting the Caucasian mm, guy. In. No, they were like, man, no. Yeah, I've got turned down a ton. Like you know, and people like you know turned down the point like they're backing away. They like there were times where like people felt threatened. Like they were like you know. But, you know, I think just perhaps it helped what I look like. I'm a pretty non-threatening person, but right, I think it's right. more about the way I speak. Like, I think I was just like, hi, like, I'm Dave. Like That's I... exactly why I wouldn't let you in the house. Right. Yeah. Mm. I would be like, man, uh, this, this dude guy? is a genius at home invasions. Yes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would yeah, really yeah, yeah. think, like, nah, man, yeah. nah. You should have did that. You. When you got in there, you should have been like, okay, start your music. Be like, oh, everybody down, this <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Everybody down. You like Gaten, everybody run in. You know? <laughs> Boom. Then we like this, like that, like daylight. There it is right there. Big boy. Big boy. Lil Dicky, definitely want to thank yeah, you for man. coming in and hanging out with thank us, man. Thank you for having me. This is the start of a relationship. Totally. Yeah, All right. So if I see you out in public, man, hug. say hi. Hug. Yeah, hug. We'll hug. hug. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know if you uh, were a hugger or not. I'm you know what I'm saying? Nice. Uh, is he fuck? Yeah, he's a hugger. I heard yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. You've you hugged him that. before? Yeah, we, we hugged today. Yeah. I heard that, man. Fuzzy got a nice little body to hug, too, I love man. Fuzzy. Yeah, man. Fuzzy's a good guy. <laughs> Thanks. Fuzzy's a good guy, man. I'm going to miss him. <laughs> oh, where am I going? <laughs> what? What? What's going on? Nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was talking about like when I go home. Oh, yeah. okay, got it, got this dude, got man. You always thinking like, oh, it's big saying. No, no. Let me ask you something real quick. Yeah. In front of you, if there was an envelope, yeah, and in this envelope, it had the exact date that you were gonna die, yeah. Would you look in that envelope, or would you leave the envelope sealed? Leave the envelope sealed. Really? Yeah. See, I would open it. Why? I don't know. I think I would open it just to see what I'm going to do, yeah. like like what my plan that, is. That to me isn't the, like all you're seeing in the envelope as described by you is a date. I don't think that really shows you what you're going to do. It just shows you when you're going to die. Yeah, I'm talking about like in my life what I'm going to do. Like, man, yeah. I got a date. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I see. What about if if the envelope was there had my name on it? Would you open up my envelope oh, and yeah. look at it? Yeah. <laughs> but would you look at it and like, like, like oh. let's say for instance like I'm like, man, I'm coming to your Christmas party. You'd be like, no, you, you know, right. no, you're not. I, I, don't, I think I keep, yeah, I don't, I, maybe I wouldn't tell you. Okay. Let me ask you a hypothetical because huh? I think this is a good one. If you could, maybe at least I think, if you could find out Everything there is to know about everything, like for a month, you get like a tour of like everything. Like you see, you could see the dinosaurs. You could then see like what else is out there in space. You can mm. see like, is there a God? Like you can literally like it, the answers to everything you ever want to know in a month. You get a tour of everything, but you die after that month. Like would you, like, it's basically like Damn. full knowledge. No, nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do the month. Okay. Because I've lived a wow. long life without knowing that. Yeah. I don't want to know and then just be like. Yeah. Unless I can give the knowledge to my kids, be like, hey, bet on the Broncos in 2017. You. Never believe <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Hit these numbers. Yeah. <laughs> these numbers. yeah. <laughs> on the 48th week, play these numbers. You know, yeah. but, but no, I live, the, I live the cool life without knowing that. Yeah. So. Damn. Well, torn. what would you do? I'm torn. Like, I, I do, I, at this point, I, I, I'd say life because life is so great. Right, right. But if I was like kind of dissatisfied in you life, you had to cancel all your December shows. Be like, yeah. dude, this dude went on a month of finding out everything. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> now I got to get my money back for these yeah. damn tickets. I'm just, I, I just, something is up. I, I, you know, like I feel like there's, there's something to know, even if it's all science. I'm very right. curious, yeah. like what the fuck is going on? Yeah, I can tell. And I feel like I wonder how satisfying that. Like I don't know what could be more satisfying than just like actual everything. knowledge. Yeah. If a dog in a pie cost had a race. 
Which a one? A dog and a what? If a dog and a pie cost had a race. What is a pie cost? How about $6? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> oh! give it up for Lil Dicky up in here, Big Boo! Oh!